What's happening? Crypto Farm, IGTV, and YouTube, whichever one you're watching on. Um, I did a little video yesterday saying I was going to go live today about a trade lens document I shown during the video. I've actually ended up extremely busy today. I've been helping a mate out. Um, his son's just started YouTube gaming. Gaming on YouTube, he's only five and he's absolutely amazing. So stay tuned because I'll, I'll leave him sharing with you at one point just so you can see how sick he is if any of you are into gaming. Um, currently working on a little animation of a lad now, so he's, uh, he's going to go places in. Um, Robot Owen, remember the name, guys, remember the name. But yeah. Considering I'm not going live on YouTube, I thought I'd at least drop a little 10 minute video, 60 seconds in already, just so I can put it on IGTV and upload it to YouTube to just, just again highlight to people why this document is so interesting to us. It's Hyperledger Quilt is what it, it's mainly about when we're when we're talking about stuff like this and we put Ripple XRP at the um, at the beginning of the video and then it's about IBM and there might be a couple of people thinking, well, why has he put Ripple XRP there? Um, it's about this, Hyperledger Quill. Ripple helped develop this. They actually did develop the Interledger protocol which if we read this Hyperledger Quill is a business blockchain tool and one of the Hyperledger projects hosted by the Linux Foundation. Hyperledger Quill offers interoperability between ledger systems by implementing the Interledger protocol known as ILP. That was the Ripple's protocol. As we all know, watch previous video. We'll pass that now. But um, Hyperquill was initially contributed by NTT Data and Ripple enough said so anything going on the quilt or hyperledger we're therefore interested in because on the back end of any technology built on that hyper it will use fabric so you're likely going to see the actual ledger built on fabric get hyperledger fabric up it's worth noting quilt in incubation Soon be live. Um, I can't, I'm struggling to find a date when. Fabric is active. Hyperledger Fabric is a blockchain framework implementation of one of the Hyperledger projects hosted by the Linux Foundation, intended as a foundation for developing applications or solutions with a modular architecture. Modular architecture means it's it's adaptable in it. It's 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 modular. <laughs> it's not the way of putting it. It allows components such as consensus and membership services to be plug and play. So, if you want this document, you're just going to give a trade lens overview on Google, and it's the top one. There's also more, there's clearly more, if you want to have a deeper look into it, but it comes to this. <coughs> trade lens and blockchain. Blockchain addresses the underlying challenges inherent in collaborating across a distributed, fragmented supply chain ecosystem. The shared lender append only distributed systems of record share of record shared across business network. A network of industry participants maintains a distributed permissioned ledger with copies of documents, filings, relevant supply chain events, authority approved status, and full audit history. Every change results in a new immutable block. Boom! Smart contract. Shared business logic governing what, con what transactions may be written to the ledger. Cross-organizational business processes such as import, export, clearance, and pre-programmed, are pre-programmed, sorry, and built into the blockchain and distributed to and executed on the network, preventing any member from changing the business logic. Boom. Privacy. Ensuring appropriate visibility. Transactions are secure, authenticated, and verifiable. Cryptography enables permissioned access so only the parties participating in the specific shipment can submit, edit, or approve related data. 
boom and trust transactions are endorsed by relevant particip participants information such as documentation filings and authority approvals can only be changed if endorsed by the parties taking part in the shipment full order history maintained on the blockchain boom so that that is generally if we run hyperledger it's your, your your modular blockchain so you have your modular blockchain um it enables specific shipment can submit edit or approval the blockchain distributed and executed network preventing any member blah 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 so it doesn't matter import export supply chains authority approval status audit history immutable blocks it, it, it's it's stuff we're used to hearing people are going to look at this and be like oh, i'm not trusting ibm i'm not trusting a smart cloud i'm not trusting this but they're making a trustable secure private ecosystem basically for commerce import export supply chains logistics um, a global network of interconnected shipping corridors it goes so deep guys it's why i'm kind of we have i just had no time to look into it anymore to feel comfortable to just go live and for people to just ping questions at me few more days and that and no doubt I will be a lot more ready to come on they've got current network participants the current ports and terminals I mean look at that Singapore Patrick terminals ICTCS Holt Logistics Houston Rotterdam Mexico Argentina Brazil Peru Sweden Turkey Nigeria Benin Great Britain Great Britain Great Britain Great Britain Great Britain Australia 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 Singapore China Canada Pennsylvania Nigeria Spain Jordan Spain California Florida Morocco Egypt Brazil you get the picture governmental authorities all involved Saudi custom so it's interesting it's a lot of um, Indian Ocean side and a lot of the east side there at the moment but massive, massive when it comes we know when it comes to shipping containers and China, Singapore, then but there's more coming from there going around what you'll notice like that it's just leaving there and it leaves there and goes to pretty much every single other one. That's what it is at the end of the day. The majority, I know not all goods leave China. <laughs> the collaboration model. So I'm 100% going to butcher this, but IBM and Merck's have jointly developed the Trade Lens platform and will continue to invest in it. And don't forget, also have a look at Watson, IBM Watson, because I think that's more the, the smart cloud that can then branch into much more, inst uh, much more industries than just the supply chain and uh, what this seems to be concentrating on but again to highlight the major the major point before i run out of time on the video there while blockchain information exchange between ledgers today is generally achieved by integrations using middleware that change in the coming uh, that will change in the coming years for example, Hyperledger Quilt, an implementation of the Interledger protocol, allowing for cross-ledger namespace and transfers of information between ledgers, will be a standard trade lens will follow. The interoperability protocol is the standard trade lens are going to follow it, and IBM are going to ensure the trade lens platform also follows the blockchain-based standards evolving in the industry. No doubt Watson will follow the same standards. We have a timeline. It's subject to change, but by 2020, they're looking at AI advanced analytics, reach sufficient scale for full and rapid rollout to clients and continue to go to market and onboard new clients. So let's get in this. Let's find out what IBM are actually doing and how the workings of it and in the next week, there will be a live stream about it to have a little chat. So enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. Live long and oddle. Love you. Love crypto. Peace out.